Lecce's extension of Riemann Hilbert correspondence to h bar equal to zero. Yeah, that's so that will be uh, in the following setup. Uh, we have x omega, which will be algebraic symplectic manifold over C, which is embedded as open dense asymplectic leaf leaf to some Poisson uh, uh, variety. And I assume that x Poisson variety is compact, algebraic, and the complement is normal crossing divisor. Just to be sure that uh, quantization exists. And also, you choose a class. Uh, no, no, no. What I assume, what I assume. Uh, that's it. OK. OK. okay. Let's read. OK. I don't know. It guarantees there exists some shift of categories. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, here we go. It's x bar and r mod 2 pi z. And I have a certain twist class, which uh, in real life always non zero. Mm. And uh, then, uh, as, we, as we discussed, there should be some um, hypothetical Riemann Hilbert correspondence. We should get uh, okay categories depending on parameter h bar, which is for k category of x and out with a symplectic form, real part of omega h bar. And a b field will be a class of imaginary part of omega h bar plus b0. Class interpreters as mm. class in. Uh, this this thing belongs to H two of X and uh, maybe C mod two pi z. Okay, mm. and then uh, I said it's really hypothetically for H bar small but non-zero should be equal to. Uh, um, mm, certain uh, category of objects in quantized, and I will not repeat uh, all my, my excuses, uh, uh, category perf x bar, uh, mm, uh, such that uh, the restriction to the boundary is zero. It will be analog of com uh, compact support and the bar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. We, we can we can discuss. No, no, it's no, no, it's no, no, precise no, no. for Just hours. Yeah. You have a category on the left hand side. On the right hand side, it's uh, not it's totally not, not totally sure. It's a category, but uh, yeah. You said objects. Then just change. Yeah, category. Yeah, category objects. Category. Full subcategory of objects consisting of this. Okay. And let's call something like DQ models, also depending on H bar. Uh, now, or uh, yeah, so it's in a sense it's kind of A model and equivalent to quantized B model on the same manifold, not on mirror dual. So it's not mirror symmetry, but it's an equivalent, another equivalence of categories of A and B type. Yeah, and now the category on the right-hand side uh, uh, we have category uh, in fact uh, uh, we have category uh, categories of various rings over C of H bar of C of H bar H inverse and uh, I'm just 
draw a little bit more space. Uh, we can consider germs of analytic functions, germ of meromorphic functions, and germ of functions uh, kind of uh, limit and, and epsilon goes to zero or of the disk analytic functions on a small puncture disk, which could have s essential singularity. Yeah, and uh, what we have equivalence, it's equivalence over this uh, big uh, categories defined over this big ring. But uh, right hand side categories defined, in fact, uh, have a model over there, and uh, that's also included its kind of formal version. Uh, and uh, this is what uh, formal deformation quantization gives. It's uh, this actual object which uh, we have in deformation quantization. Uh, and in particular, we get uh, we could kind of have limiting category when h bar is equal to zero. Uh, is uh, uh, some full subcategory in uh, uh, in coherent shifts with compact support, and also on uh, X and also twi and twisted by this B zero. So we should put actually job. Mm, this uh, can be called a generalization of Higgs bundles. Mm, if X is a cotangent bundle to some smooth variety, uh, smooth compact variety, say, then uh, uh, Higgs bundles are, mm, co uh, can be interpreted as coherent shifts on, co on, on this cotangent bundle with compact support, which is uh, ramified cover or is it? of y, Higgs shifts. No, Higgs bundles. Higgs bundles are. Mm, are the cost perfect, but the support. No, no, there, uh, all, 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 if it projects to the base variety, it's, it will be actually vector bundle. But upstairs, it's a, I don't know. That's a, uh, this is a definition of Higgs bundle. Yeah. It cannot be supported on the vertical fiber. No, no, it's, it should be compactly supported. Yeah, in some special oh, cases. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. So the conclusion uh, this family of categories there is H extends. To h equal to zero, and uh, that's pretty uh, non-trivial procedure because I in the description of, of this category we use not series in h bar but series exponent one of h bar. So how we can make a meaning of h bar equal to zero? It's uh, um, not clear. And yeah, so the uh, the goal of my today lecture is to describe extension of, of this family of categories to h bar equal to zero, uh, kind of. Mm, not using the riemann hibbert <coughs> correspondence, but entirely in terms of Foucault categories. At least some, uh, uh, some families of objects you want to, uh, uh, depending on each bar, we want to say that have limit and it's some object in some limiting category. Yeah, so uh, to do so, we first fix uh, smooth compact uh, algebraic uh, Lagrangian uh, L X. Mm. 
And uh, I will use the approach of two Fouquet categories uh, as um, to starting with singular guy, but we'll start with smooth guy and with some local system and try to interpret this object on small neighborhood of L. L compact in X, yeah. No, no, you, yeah, I don't know. Can you read? Yeah, it's compact in X, yeah. Okay. Spectral curve is not compact. I will, it's my lecture, I will later go to. <laughs> yes, okay. Yes, it's. Yeah, so, mm, uh, so uh, what we do? Mm. So we, we have this compact X. And we take small neighborhood. Some tubular neighborhood. And uh, mm. uh, I explain to you this uh, uh, philosophy that to, uh, to construct object Foucault category, we should start maybe with singular Lagrange manifold here at smooth and forget about complex. Uh, 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 structure at all, so it will be real Lagrangian manifold and real uh, uh, symplectic manifold. L is Lagrangian with respect to the real part for any given H bar. Yeah, so it will be real Lagrangian and real symplectic manifold. And mm, then first, we should have kind of local Fouquet category, which will be finite dimensional modules of a certain algebra. Finite dimensional DG modules of a certain algebra AL. Uh, and this algebra in the smooth case is twisted because of our twist B0 uh, uh, version of uh, chains of the following DG algebra. We consider chains of a based loops of monoid of based loops in L and pick some base point. It's a topological monoid. We take chains. I will explain in, in a minute. Uh, this is DG algebra graded in degrees uh, uh, less than zero, and H zero of this algebra is it has only non-positive non cohomology, and zero is a group ring uh, of the fundamental group. Uh, so the twist will be by by class and second uh, cohomology with this U1 coefficients by uh, uh, two things. It will be restriction of class B0 to L. B0 is for second, second, second cohomology class on ambient variety can restrict to L. And also at first stiefel Whitney. On a second Stiefel Whitney class of uh, L, which is, uh, belongs in cohomology uh, with coefficient Z mod to Z, and uh, Z mod to Z is literally embedded in R mod 2 pi Z. Uh, don't you want to take integers? No. What? No, no. It's here, I think. Okay, one can took, take, uh, one can, but. Uh, Mm. What? How to see this twist, twisted models? Uh, so the kind of basic example: if X is a cotangent bundle to uh, some smooth variety Y, and B zero is. Mm, Come from the following. It's uh, responsible for possibility to divide first chain class of the 
dungeon bundle to way to itself. Uh, and uh, it's kind of two torsion class. And uh, how can one set it? It's consider image of what? I can see the first chain class of the tangent bundle to y and maybe take pull back is projection from x to y. <coughs> tensor my, 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 uh, multiply tensor by minus one under the map h2 xz times, uh, uh, sorry, r, maybe multiply by pi, r mod, uh, uh, yeah, pi is 3, 1, 4, yeah. okay, it's another pi, uh, to map to h2 x, you have, uh, this obvious map. So, uh, uh, and this uh, first Stiefel Whitney class, second Stiefel Whitney class, it's uh, d uh, again responsible for divisibility of first chain class of L by 2. And what, uh, and <coughs> uh, and th then what we conclude that uh, uh, this twisted local system for uh, co-cycles given by this image of this map is the same the same as a local system on the total space on C star bundle over L which is uh, uh, equal to canonical, canonical bundle times pullback of a ky minus zero section whose monodromy, whose holonomy along uh, kind of uh, fiber C star is equal to minus identity. Yeah, that's a uh, elementary description. What is this twisted local system in this case? And mm, even in a more special case, if uh, let's say y is a curve and L projects to y uh, has only double ramification points, yeah, so we get this cotangent bundle, L C T can set and has only double amplification point. Then uh, uh, the same thing you can say that is local systems on L minus set of ramification points is holonomy equal to minus identity around each ramification point. It's So that's so are the finite numbers of ramification? The finite, yeah, algebraic curve has finite number of ramification points. Yeah, yeah so that's, uh, uh, that's a category and in general sh should be uh, deformed by uh, uh, holo uh, holomorphic disks with boundary on L. So in principle, this category of AL mod should be deformed uh, and for de deformation by kind of holomorphic MIPS disks, pseudo holomorphic disks, such that boundary goes to L. And the beauty of the situation, complex situation, is that for generic H bar, there's no such holomorphic disks at all. For generic value of argument of H bar, 
except some countable set. Holomorphic disks for appropriate almost complex structures. Mm. So, what is the explanation? Uh, uh, we can uh, introduce almost complex structures on, on X compatible with the symplectic form of a special type coming from almost quaternionic structure. Structure on x omega is a choice of three, is collection of three non-degenerate forms. Degenerate such that omega is equal to omega one plus i times omega two, and pointwise this is any tangent space with, with all these three forms. Isomorphic to uh, standard quaternionic space uh, quaternionic space with three standard forms. And not uh, bilinear forms. Mm, the space of choices is contractible. So we should just choose omega 3. Uh, in fact, the omega, omega 3 will be not a symplectic form, it will be just two form. Space of choices is contractible. Uh, because uh, the structure group which is pointwise is symplectic group with complex coefficients is homotopy equivalent to to uh, unitary group in, in quater with quaternionic coefficients. It's maximal compact subgroup. Okay, so let's choose any quaternionic structure, and it gives us automatically a almost complex structure for in each bar. Yeah, so if we fix non zero complex number, uh, then real part of omega o h bar, uh, and let h is uh, uh, polar coordinates, is equal to. Mm. This thing, and then this we have con uh, almost complex structure, can nature uh, um, uh, from this uh, 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 almost quaternionic geometry, and then uh, you have uh, um, pseudo on pseudo holomorphic curve on any. Through the holomorphic curve, uh, mm, uh, we'll, we'll have vanishing of two forms. Omega uh, kind of uh, you have uh, all the three forms from Euclidean three-dimensional space and forms which are orthogonal to uh, from plane orthogonal to this guy will vanish on uh, this curve. So you get vanishing of o omega three and. both form vanish. Mm. And in particular, this guy vanish. I forget about omega 3. This guy vanish, which is imaginary part of omega divided by the bar. And so the conclusion is that 
if we have any uh, this holomorphic disks, that integral of the disk of pullback of form omega is a non-negative real number, in fact, a positive real number if, if phi is not constant map. And uh, this is, uh, in fact, cohomological condition. One should know exactly what is a disk, you know, only its cohomology class. Uh, the integral of omega gives a map from uh, from a uh, from certain finite rank lattice, second homology of x is per L with z coefficients to c. It's a, a lattice of finite rank. Image and image is uh, some countable subset. <coughs> and if arc h bar is not equal to arc integral omega of some plus beta, uh, where beta belongs gamma, and actually this map is usually denoted by central charge. Uh, uh, so there are countably many bad rays. Uh, outside of this bad rays, mm, uh, you'll have a very nice situation where there's no pseudo-holomorphic disk, so the categories should be corrected. And we should get a fully faithful, or some fully faithful embedding from uh, this category of twisted local system. Systems on L into the Foucault category of X all the rest. Mm. Uh, so the, you chose h bar equals to r to the power i theta. Yeah. So, uh, so it is kind of multivalent function, h bar? No, theta is uh, a real number defined up to 2 pi z. So it's kind of polar coordinate, I don't know. Ah, it's any complex number, it can be, can be uniquely written. Um, mm, ah, just some uh, uh, small remark. When, when I discuss uh, Foucault categories in general, I was, uh, uh, there was one of tr troubles which I kind of skip. Uh, it's about uh, the smaller space of disks has kind of wrong dimension, have larger dimension. One should perturb something. And this was some kind of controversy uh, uh, about this. But uh, in fact, uh, this was approached by John Pardon a few years ago, which uh, explains that one, shouldn't, uh, one doesn't need to perturb anything, at least on the nose, and um, interpret uh, virtual, fundament uh, virtual fundamental class of this maybe horrible spaces of maps as a cohomology class with very dualizing shifts, so kind of series of shifts. I give some mm, solution without uh, this uh, trouble. Ah, so, uh, uh, so one don't have to worry that in, in principle, in defined category, one should move or think somehow. It's not really trouble. Okay. Yeah, so that's uh, so we get mm, maybe countably many arrays, and also we get uncountably many arrays. And for this each uncountable uh, uh, all good race, we get a full embedding. But what happens if you cross the Stokes ray? It can be called this think by analogy with differential equations like Stokes rays.
we get a different embedding. You just uh, let's embed kind of a little bit on the left, on the right. We get two different embeddings, but they're very close to each other. And um, um, if, if you try to think, for example, what a um, um, model space of objects uh, on a, one category, another category, it should be kind of like open embedding. Yeah, so you, you embed the same thing uh, to the same domain, so it means that you obtain a uh, apply some automorphism. Then we should get an automorphism of this category of category A L modules and with coefficients in uh, a certain ring, and the ring uh, will be. Yeah, maybe Jan was right. Maybe I should, uh, uh, at least, uh, I'll explain what it means with coefficients in this ring. What is gamma theta? Gamma theta is set of elements in gamma, beta, uh. Uh, it's, a, it's a monoid joined by zero and um, classes with strictly positive area. Ah, ah, no, no, sorry, sorry. Gamma, gamma, gamma zero, that's it. And gamma zero plus is a cone. Uh, actually, it's contained in this cone, and it will be the following. It will be zero uh, in union of uh, kind of finite sums of classes of holomorphic disk which we enter, uh, which, which can appear in uh, uh, I claim that what we get here will be a strict convex cone in gamma sigma. some closed cone strictly contained it's at zero in some half space and, and interesting integer point here and uh, then we get arbitrary infinite sum we get some uh, kind of version of formal power series ring uh, why uh, you get this uh, uh, mm, boundness in fact it, the strict, uh, strictness will be uh, uh, this Cone can be chosen in, in sense uniformly when you rotate sigma. Uh, this is kind of uh, uh, the following reasoning. Mm, choose a basis omega i and alpha i uh, 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 of representing second cohomology with real coefficients. The omega i are uh, uh, two forms on x. The omega i is equal to zero. And 
alpha i are one forms on L and omega i restricted to L is equal to mu alpha i. That's how you write representatives of relative homology class. Mm, so that the homology sec of finite dimensional choose some basis and it infinity uh, also should be a bit careful at infinity. Uh, uh, mm, And uh, uh, let's assume that omegas are less than constant uh, and also choose some remaining metric, uh, which is compatible with symplectic form in uh, kind of rough sense, which I explained um, when I spoke about Fouquet categories. Uh, so, uh, uh, all this, all two forms are kind of bounded by omega, and uh, alphas are also bounded because L is compact. Oops, it's compact, and then if you integrate over disk pullback of uh, omega to i plus integrate of boundary of the disk pullback of alpha, uh, what you get, you get uh, something bounded by area of the disk, remaining area plus another constant times the length of the boundary. And um, there is a, a kind of grom of anti um, this is of inequality, uh, saying that, that for pseudo-holomorphic disks, this, uh, this length of the boundary is bounded by constant by the area. So this is actually one term. And uh, what it will mean, get, uh, What with, with Jan we call support property, like uh, which means the following: choose a norm on gamma tensor R. Uh, for beta in gamma minus zero, set it to beta in equal to zero. Uh, a pseudo holomorphic disk exists implies that norm of beta less than some constant, universal constant, where right, norm of zero beta. And if you, for example, imagine that gamma is Z3, Z3, R3, you get the map from uh, let, let's say kind of some domain in three-dimensional space map to, to plane, R2, which is C, and map Z. And uh, here one should draw kind of mm. complement to, uh, to, uh, mm, uh, to cones. And this domain projects, and if you consider pullback of any ray, you get uh, strictly convex. Uh, cone and as the support uh, all possible classes of beta will, will stay in this outside area. Mm.
can show them uh, uniformly with respect to the angle. To angle, yeah. 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 So get a certain automorphism. And automorphism maybe denote T uh, theta, T theta. Yeah, so, so I can give you a kind of rough picture. Of the theta. Uh, um, yes, acting on uh, H zero of the, the modules. Now this category has uh, T structure as a category uh, because algebra is negatively graded, and the heart of T structure will be a twisted local system in normal sense. And uh, so it's something which mm, makes from one local system another local system. Mm. And I'll draw the picture in the case of dimension one, and which is dimension L is one. Uh, so L is complex curve. Uh, yeah, so it's some curve, some whatever. And suppose mm, I have this red. Uh, uh, pseudo holomorphic disk uh, with boundary on L with certain uh, argument theta. Uh, um, then it gives an automorphism of, of the group ring of fundamental group depending on small parameter. Namely, mm. oh, go for it. Yeah. The automorphism is like this. Suppose you get some element of, of the fundamental group represented by some path, and some part of the path crosses this loop. And then it goes to uh, You replace this guy by small correction, the same element plus another element of the fundamental group with, with a weight which is close to zero. Mm. Or a uh, more invariant uh, way to say it is that you have a local system E on, uh, I forget, uh, ignore this twisting on L. Then we get new local system. Uh, first, cut along this uh, uh, red line divided by two. Get uh, and glue back by. Uh, not identity map by identity plus the same thing exponent minus one which bar times uh, holonomy along this uh, red line starting from any given point it will be locally constant uh, system of identification and they get new uh, local system. Uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of only naive first level approximation, but it uh, g gives the right idea. And in high dimensions, uh, 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 disks will be not isolated, but will have dimension. Uh, <coughs> if dimension 
is bigger than 1, then expected virtual dimension, real dimensional space of disks will be 2n minus 2. And this swaps some real hypersurfaces, which are folated by circles, and kind of naively one can repeat the same procedure. One intersect by pass with hypersurface, then go along circle there and go in force. Uh, so that's, mm, uh, I, I want to stress that all this, uh, this uh, disks and or families of disks are not totally canonical object, it depends on choice of almost quaternionic structure. But the automorphism is just one automorphism, it doesn't depend on anything. So actual disks depend on almost quaternionic structure, but automorphisms, automorphism p theta is absolutely canonical. Uh, there is here convergent questions on which I don't have good answer. Mm. In general, uh, now for simplicity, uh, just look on only on only at the sigma s automorphisms model, maybe inner of algebra. L. And we ignore ignore twists. Uh, let's, uh, let's say just automorphism of the group ring of the fundamental group. Yeah, first of all, we choose some generators. Of this by one. And uh, then the automorphism to theta. Mm, should be act on generated generators like this g i um, n plus infinite sum uh, certain g belonging to pi one c i and beta in h two uh, X Z such a boundary map of beta is abelianization of G belonging to H one L. So we get certain uh, loops, and the automorphism will be certain infinite sum uh, times exponent minus one over H bar. Beta omega, or the same as the of beta. It will be uh, uh, along the rate will be real uh, numbers, very large real numbers. So exponents exponent will be very small, and like by g. And this I interpret as element of this group ring of fundamental group. Uh, actually, it's form power series in this monoid. Uh, mm, uh, yeah, it's, it's not really inter, it's kind of image of the element when I map element of monoids to these exponential expressions. Uh, okay, so you get certain infinite sums. No, uh, T theta is canonical, so why you choose L not as this point there? Uh, the no, just to speak about fundamental group. I don't know. To speak about fundamental group, we need a base point. 
it's uh, yeah, it's just c convenience. It's really not essential. Uh, yeah, you lift. Uh, yeah, we kind of leave this auto automorphism to actually some some automorphism to have this form. Yeah, it's better to speak about terms of groupoids, but it will be more lengthy. The action you create when you cross the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This automorphism of the group ring. Yeah. But it's uh, so you're trying to make it as a, to, to realize it as a group, but it's actually something higher. Or uh, yeah, it's actually not a group. It's uh, DG algebra. It's right. not only pi one, but yeah, right. yeah. Then one can yeah, yeah. It will be very heavy notations. I just want to uh, say basic. I think here. So what we expect? First, we expect this. This coefficients are certain integers. Uh, there's really no good. Explanation for this, but it's experimental fact that in all examples which you know, it's integers. Negative, yeah. No, there's nothing positive because I choose generators, it's kind of arbitrary. Uh, things. And, and beta belongs actually to gamma plus, yeah. Gamma. The, 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 the some intersection, this is. Sorry? These uh, coefficients should they themselves be some intersection? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what, to, what uh, one can try to think. What is topological interpretation of this uh, thing? According to your picture there. You yeah, it's like intersection with the boundaries of this. Uh, yeah, but its generator goes to some infinite sum, and if its whole picture is complicated, I don't know what to say precisely. Mm. Uh, then it's again this anti isoparametric inequality. It's length of G in a group uh, sense is uh, less than constant times whatever uh, norm of zero B. Or well, the same as norm of B because we put this support condition. And but the crucial uh, uh, it's Gromov isomorphic inequality uh, kind of formulated here. But the crucial thing is that these numbers should grow as it more than exponentially. Uh, that's maybe a little bit too optimistic, but uh, that's uh, analogous to this uh, uh, question about Foucault categories when we get exponential growth. Uh, the constant in the exponential is positive or arbitrary? The constant in the Exponential? I think it should be positive because it's integer numbers, yeah. Negative integer numbers. Yeah. Some constants. Uh, yeah. yeah, so we get and this This automorphism of formal power series ring 
but uh, by this condition, it, uh, you mm, you'll be able to substitute finite value of h bar on the ray, and you get actual map. Uh, you, you get certain mm, convergent expression, but uh, for, for finite value of h bar, it will be not no longer automorphism. It will be just some map, uh, and which will uh, have different radius converge for different elements of a gr fundamental group. Yeah, you can say. So, but in the next situation, we would expect maybe this cone to be just a ray, right? Yeah, sorry? A single ray. A single ray, yeah. Yeah, so you just have a single sum. Yeah. And these. Yes. Yeah. Ah, you have these coefficients. Mm -hmm. Sir? So, but these exponentials get just power square. Yeah, yeah. Sorry? Should be true for non smooth cell. Uh, I don't know what to say for non smooth cell. Just, yeah, what, yeah in principle. Yeah. Yeah. I will later speak about non smooth cell. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I have some my own, own plan, whatever. Uh, mm. ah, so, in this case, one can ask about non linear. A Riemann Hilbert problem. Uh, this Riemann Hilbert, it's not the same as Riemann Hilbert correspondence, they are kind of more related. It's do, don't mix mix with Riemann Hilbert correspondence. Mm. Uh, we can see the trivial bundle over uh, like it's a germ of of uh, uh, at zero uh, of of a disk mm, with fiber. Uh, mm, called fiber, something like roughly M. It will be moduli stack, yeah, or space of uh, let's say finite dimensional twisted uh, local systems of given rank. Uh, now, what I do, I make infinitely many cuts, uh, draw this ray, uh, uh, pieces of rays in the disk, make cuts along stocks rays, and modify uh, and um, just uh, uh, and if, uh, try to glue new bundle, just if you cross the ray, I apply the automorphism T sigma acting on modular space. T sigma as function of h bar. Long ray to M. And glue uh, new space. And we want to find. Mm, Holomorphic the equations to describe holomorphic sections of new nonlinear bundle. It should be no longer trivial. Uh, uh, 
how to say it mathematically, uh, for each kind of generic theta, which is not on Stokes ray, we should have a map from a holomorphic map. Uh, mu theta uh, from certain small domain, and uh, dom I think the right domain is uh, you draw a small circle tangent to zero, and such a direct to center has argument theta from this domain to M, uh, which is. extends as C infinity to zero. So you get actual value of this map at point zero. Mm. So what is the map? Certain map. Yeah, just I didn't finish. Okay. Satisfying the following constraints. If sigma, let's say, generic 1 is less sigma generic 2 less sigma generic 1 plus pi. So you have uh, uh, mm, two directions, sigma 1, sigma 2, sigma generic 2, two and sigma generic 1. Then the product Uh, then m sigma 2 uh, restricted to this common, uh, some common part, uh, is equal to mu sigma 1 times the product, ordered product of all t sigma, the sigma uh, are special Stokes directions. Uh, so these are uh, maps uh, one should uh, figure out, make a little bit smaller domain on which all things have sense uh, by convergence uh, constraints and this will be quality on this common convergence domain. Now, so it's uh, uh, pretty complicated thing, but uh, in fact, uh, it's equivalent to a finite amount of data. Uh, namely, these generic directions we should choose at least three of them uh, so that all angles will be less than pi over 2. And uh, it's enough to have this map uh, uh, associated to uh, small disks for finitely many of them with this uh, mm, co-cycle constraint. No, so that's So this positive answer to the convergence question guarantees that... Uh, this thinks, yeah, this will be converged for small... Uh, uh, yeah. So now I'll try to formulate a conjecture. It will be this extension. So this will be this my extension of Riemann here, but bar equal to zero, which says that uh, mm, in germ of holomorphic section of uh, of this uh, modified nonlinear bundle. Uh, 
uh, should give and uh, mm, the germ of at h bar equal to zero of the family of holomorphic objects, holonomic object of family of holonomic objects in the sense of uh, quantized uh, in dq h bar and such that over uh, in things I, I get flat over CH bar deformation quantization modules and uh, uh, classical limit, the classical limit. Uh, I get a um, vector bundle on L. Uh, mm, one should be a little bit more careful. Uh, for example, here, if you can see the germ of sections, let's say this, let's say this given value at, at, at zero. So it means that, uh, for example, here I can fix uh, some initial twist at local system. And here's a vector bundle mm, plus certain constraint on uh, one half of uh, first derivative in h bar. Uh, maybe I'll explain after the break yeah, what here goes on. Uh, so it's a, a specified certain vector bundle and uh, but it's valued h bar equals zero but also specify somehow uh, also some part of um, first jet data. Okay, so maybe we'll make some five minutes break. Details, the case of, suppose, uh, local systems, which we have uh, twisted local systems on L of rank one. Uh, so we get a twisted kind of torus without distinguished base point. Twisted, it will be, it will be torsor over. Will we discuss more of this conjecture in the part of it? Is no. No? But questions are allowed for or not? No. What did you write here? Twisted local system. Oh, sorry, my handwriting became systems on L of rank one. Consider just. Ignore this big fundamental group, uh, and it will be torsors over h1 l c star, which will be home. Okay, uh, so we fix fix uh, a, a point in. What, what, what is written below the P capital? Twisted. Twisted. Twisted there. And we fix a point, it will be a value of section at h bar equal to zero in uh, this Riemann Hilbert problem. Mm. What I do mean by this vector bundle, or maybe twisted vector bundle with half of derivatives. Uh, um, again, go to this um, favorite example, x is t star y, y will be compact curve. And so it's fibered to y and L will be compact curve uh, in uh, 
it'll be smooth. Also compact curve. So this correspond to cases D modules without singularities, correspond to these connections. Um, and again, twist. In fact, for curves, the first chain class is always divisible by two. Two G minus two is divisible by two, but it's kind of extra fact which we don't, shouldn't ignore. Should ignore as part as because we really have structure not just vanishing to zero. Uh, mm. And suppose this map L to Y has uh, uh, degree K. So it means that we consider equation about gel K. So on A side of my uh, picture, I have uh, T uh, twisted, it will be uh, rank one local systems on L minus ramification points. Again, I assume that only double ramification. Ramification for the map L, L to A. Uh, yeah, so we have local system with monodromy equal to minus one around ramification points. Uh, this is a torsor over C star to power GL, with GL is a genus of this curve. L. And number of ramification points, it's twice genus of L minus genus of C, genus of Y. So that's A side, and what is B side? Uh, we can see the group G, which is GLK. Uh, mm, and consider Hitchin system. Uh, uh, so what does it mean? We get modular space of Higgs bundles uh, uh, for a group GL. And it will contain this open part this um, things which we are interested in, uh, may, may, maybe deformed L prime will be some curve, another smooth curve, which could coincide with L, and italic L prime will be a line bundle, L prime smooth curve uh, in cotangent bundle of genus GL, the same genus, and L prime is a, a line bundle, that's an isomorphism class of line bundle on L prime of degree, uh, this mm, is half of this number of ramification points. Uh, Uh, and this uh, I project to Hitchin base, which are curves without bundle, maybe with multiplicities. Uh, mm, mm. And here uh, the projection. Uh, is forgetting line bundle. So the fiber is a 
over, over L is torsor over abelian variety. It's all L prime. L, L is fixed for me from the very beginning. L prime varies. Yeah, it's kind of a varying uh, curve. Yeah. But not very far from L? Or yeah, then uh, just a second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hitching base. And uh, well, I can see this, this open domain. Yeah, I don't know. But all smooth curve is line bundles. Yeah, just. Mm. Mm. Now, uh, uh, is, uh, as well known, this um, uh, model space of Higgs bundles is M Higgs. Uh, model space of Higgs bundles in, in includes to some twister family, so it will be family of varieties depending on h bar, which is M0. Uh, and and MH uh, will be flat, have some flat deformation for h bar non equal to zero. MH will be a modular space of of h bar connections. You can see the differential apparatus with h bar uh, uh, in in. K vector bundles. Uh, so it's isomorphic to what Simpson called the Ramodli uh, space or stack for all h bar equal to zero. Mm. And we get some flat family of varieties. Yeah. So now, now what we do? Get this family of varieties. We blow. Uh, make a blow up of the total space. Add the following locus. It will be. Uh, We consider a uh, fiber of the Hitchin local system over point L. So all possible line bundles on L, it's a billion uh, variety. It's a part of the uh, special fiber. And we make um, blow up uh, thinking, sitting in M Higgs. So we make a, when we make a blow up, we get exceptional divisor. something here. We get an exceptional divisor and um, now we are interested in the section of blown up uh, 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 vibration which goes to a point uh, of exceptional divisor. And What is this exceptional divisor? The exceptional divisor, it's, uh, it's fibered over uh, this torsor. Uh, mm. uh, it's a billion variety. Uh, of dimension G, which is uh, homeomorphic to S1 to, to GL minus GY. And fiber is, is a fine space. 
uh, which is parallel to uh, mm, mm, uh, to the conormal bundle to this uh, locus to uh, base of Hitchin system in in the, in the fiber to equal to the tangent space. Uh, which is tangent space L to the base of Hitchin system. It's uh, so it's R to the same number, but it's a complex variety, and it's easy to see that, in fact. that the L is isomorphic as analytic space and it's our prism is canonical to this uh, twisted torus of local systems which is uh, torsor over C star to the same number. Yeah, so you get uh, mm, yeah, it's roughly uh, a Riemann Hilbert correspondence. We can see the line bundles this lead connection on a curve with the same as representation of fundamental group analytically. Yeah, but this is not algebraic map, but still canonical identification. And if we fix a point here, we fix a point in this uh, blown up divisor. And if you uh, think what does it mean, it means that we're interested in section of original bundle and we fix kind of half of first derivative uh, among all of the, this um, H bar. So it's pretty involved description. Uh, mm. That's how uh, correspondence of um, uh, when we want to identify parameters here and there, at, at least in case of rank one, uh, if you fix value, you fix something on in B model size right. yeah so now I just say a couple words that in practice if you want to study concrete example cell is almost never compact it's very it's not compact Uh, yeah, as I explained with, uh, at least in the case of curves, uh, one can achieve compactness by making some additional blow-ups. Uh, but it, it makes some kind of really messy uh, symplectic manifolds uh, and messy B model side. Everything can, uh, and in principle, it's, it's not desirable to make this new blow-ups. Uh, it looks like one, there is a kind of situation which is pretty common, kind of gen, general type, uh, for which one can still work. Uh, uh, first, I'll give some uh, general definition. Mm. A point on a Poisson manifold. Uh, mm, uh, with open dense symplectic leaf is called logarithmic if there exist local analytic coordinates near this point. Uh, Such that inverse to this uh, uh, Poisson structure, gamma omega is equal given to the sum uh, if you get such 
uh, form and divisor when uh, symplectic form is um, mm, this uh, pulse is given this equation from 1 to m, where m is some number between 0 and n. And one definition, second definition, LCT connects bar gamma L bar uh, is, is called, I don't know, ad uh, adapted to two Poisson structure if L bar is smooth compact. Uh, 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 lies entirely in uh, locus of logarithmic form points, which is open locus. Uh, points transversal to divisor and Lagrangian in in open part. L maybe is the closure of the intersection. Yeah, so it's mm. Can you repeat what is open locus? Of, uh, uh, this uh, set of points which are logarithmic form an open subset, essentially by definition, yeah? And so th this L should lie in entirely in this open subset. Compact. I will explain because later, because there will be some troubles with non smooth one. Yes, yes. Yeah, and um, uh, yeah, it looks that it uh, for such uh, things it's in a sense one can work uh, without making blow ups and uh, uh, will be the same more or less uh, story automorphism of, of these fundamental groups. Mm. Uh, now for example if dimension of L is equal to 1, L is a curve. Gamma is a finite set. This automorphism T theta which I talked about was acting on group ring of of L not to itself. Uh, it should preserve or uh, conjugacy classes of small loops around punctures. Uh, that's kind of clear from geometry because we modify for some compact loops that do not intersect loops around punctures. Yeah. Uh, in particular, for this uh, rank one systems, it means that uh, when I make automorphism of this twisted torus, which will be mm, this twisted torus, maybe the genus G, and maybe you get something like and punctures. This twisted torus is uh, C star to or two G plus N minus one. And it project C star N minus one. It will be holonomy along uh, punctures, around punctures. And this automorphism uh, T sigma acts trivially on this quotient, so it's x on the fibers in some way. Mm. Yeah, so that's uh,
mean this foliation structure for the center is preserved of this theta. Yeah. So you fix conjugacy classes to yeah. the symplectic leaf yeah. and your the theta preserves them. So each, each leaf, yes, yes. Yeah, yes. It's some non-linear map from a torus to itself, depending on formal parameters. Yeah, so the so there's a big question. How can one calculate this automorphism T C? In the case uh, dimension y is equal to one. Uh, 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 this should be done by spectral networks. Uh, by Gajota Muranetsky. Uh, 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 it could be, in principle, not compact. I, I can now consider situation with irregular singularities, whatever. So, uh, a tangent space can be considered as multivalued, kind of meromorphic one form on y, on curve y. Because uh, uh, locally, it looks like a graph of one, fo uh, one form. Mm, one form is automatically close. So we can uh, uh, see this like some finite collection, say i, where i lies in a finite set, local system of finite set, also with some singularities. Uh, and this finite set will be fiber, will be fibers of projection restricted to L. You get uh, many one forms, and uh, this Goethe Murnitsky Netsky spectral networks are uh, uh, for given given theta uh, you draw trees and typically will be three valent trees uh, with endpoints will be ramification uh, and points are ramification points uh, p projection of ramification points projection l two y with some finite subset uh, and each edge uh, for each edge I choose two. Uh, uh, branches of my uh, multivalued one form. Let's see, see one, say two, uh, and edge mm, uh, will be on edge imaginary part of say I one minus say two of edge bar vanishes. Yeah, so if you have locally two holomorphic forms, the difference of the holomorphic form, divide by bar, get things, and take imaginary part, you get some foliation, and H will, should go along this foliation. And real part will be positive. And it, it, each vertex, inner vertex, usually it's a three valent vertices, you get uh, uh, edges are labeled by three pairs of indices and eventually it, uh, it's kind of uh, degree three vertices and a degree one vertices uh, you took two, uh, two, two branches which are coincided uh, 
two branches, say one, say two, such that psi one at, at the end point is equal to psi two at the end point of the vertex. To do, uh, its implication. Point oh, why uh, why these things uh, correspond to holomorphic disks? Yeah, that's a nice objects. They do not depend on any choice. You can uh, of what are almost quaternic structure. Uh, the idea is the following. I, uh, choose a kind of a family, one parameter family of quaternionic structures, uh, such that curves, uh, uh, holomorphic curves, uh, Riemann equation will uh, force you to holomorphic curves to um, be close, very close to the following objects. When we have uh, uh, the disk, we'll map to the following disk. Uh, mm. Following guy, limiting disk will project to the tree, and fiber at, at end point will be a point. Fiber at uh, Point on a on a edge will be an in interval, uh, and to effect will be straight interval. Uh, it will be straight interval in cotangent fiber, uh, connecting connecting point C i one of y and C i two of y. This uh, intersection point with Lagrangian variety. And a triple point, you should add triangle. Fiber at three valent vertex is a, a, a straight triangle. Now this will be. Uh, Is it one dimensional story on the? Uh, yeah, in principle, in principle, we could draw tree in high dimensional situation as well. Yeah, yeah, but uh, there are many troubles with all this. Mm, I think, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in practice, it's kind of work. One can really do computer cal uh, calculation and calculate this automorphism of group ring of fundamental group, whatever is this nonlinear automorphism of, of Tori. Uh, Uh, what I just want to briefly mention that there is a d different approach. Again, if you want to calculate on computer many, many of these uh, coefficients, which I mentioned. Uh, there is mm, this automorphism of Tori. Uh, through some different. Uh, yeah, but I mean, just hypothetically, if I can count the spectral networks, yeah. which people can, uh, so can you write down the formula for the automorphism? In terms of summation. Yeah, it's all pretty complicated, I know. Yeah. yeah so I'll explain some briefly some alternative picture. It's young. Uh, uh, so if we simply study again rank one system on Lagrangian varieties. Uh, actually, really not really relevant. Uh, mm, again, for the case, X is cotangent bundle. Again, one can think about terms of curves, but our uh, prescription works. Mm, doesn't really need that the case is a curve. So for any H bar, one equal to zero. 
one get some beta model space, which depends on h bar, which should be algebraic variety defined over uh, over integers, and uh, and it form a local system on C star with h bar coordinates. Why it's a local system? Mm. Mm. Now, for example, one can try to think of uh, uh, some irregular data. Uh, the local system appears when you have irregular data. Suppose y is a curve, and you get, and you describe irregular data by some. Uh, uh, the stocks diagrams around touch point, and you describe what is a local si uh, local system. It's some local system plus filtrations, uh, blah blah blah. But mm, so it gets uh, something you find over integers. But now, when you draw the stocks lens, it's uh, uh, if you mm, mul multiply this uh, 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 stocks parameter by h bar, the whole thing starts st start to rotate, and h bar goes. It uh, um, goes around, this whole thing kind of rotates and goes to itself. So it means that you get a variety with automorphism. And the automorphism, uh, uh, first it's in a regular case, it's trivial automorphism. In many cases, it's of finite order. But uh, in general, it's inf infinite order automorphism. So you get, you get maybe one variety, m beta. One algebraic variety plus automorphism and of infinite order. That's important. Maybe I'll write this tedious notation a loop around h bar equal to zero. That would be this automorphism. Yeah. This variety is I in practice uh, m beta h equal to zero is in, uh, in practice log Calabria variety. Uh, and uh, one can speak about logarithmic compactifications when form element has poles of first order. And uh, the next date, it's uh, kind of a bit lousy. You can see the a finite chain of P1s in a logarithmic compactification. By some normal crossing divisor, mm. uh. so we get some point p equal to b zero, p one, p some m, uh. Uh, uh, and I assume that all CP ones. Uh, strata in natural stratification for devices normal crossing. So, uh, strata in the natural stratification. I suppose I have a chain of CP ones, and finally, uh, and assume that. Uh, t around h equal to zero, uh, which defines an open part of my variety, extends to, a, uh, to identification of a neighborhood of fp zero and neighborhood of final finite point. Now, so uh, I get varieties automorphism. And then what you can do, you consider neighborhood of the whole chain and glue to ends 
basis automorphisms. And we call it M tilde. Uh, it will be neighborhood of uh, this chain with glued endpoints. Ah, so what I want to stress that this guy is no longer algebraic variety. It's not no, even a piece of algebraic variety because you glue by some kind of uh, automorphism of infinite order. Mm. Yeah, so, it, uh, so in a sense it's kind of uh, similar to uh, in kind of periodic series is fontaine farc curve. When you take it, uh, analogs and glue uh, one end of analogs, another end of analogs by map x goes to x to power p by some kind of It's even non invertible map. Yeah, so you get uh, this bizarre guy, and uh, uh, what will be further piece of geometry here? Mm. So, some assumption is uh, the following. Yeah, if you have a device with normal crossing and we get a zero dimensional stratum, uh, in normal crossing divisor in some mm, manifold of dimension. That's a capital N dimensional manifold. Um, so we get zero point stratum. Uh, then we get automatically a, a, a lattice of rank N, uh, uh, namely, the zero dimensional stratum will be, in my example, one of points PI. Uh, mm, you consider H1 of. A neighborhood of PY of PI intersecting to the complement to divisor to my no, to my divisor D. Mm. So I get something homotopy equivalent to a torus, and its first homology is uh, rank N lattice. Now, if I get one-dimensional stratum, if uh, if we get one dimensional stratum, which is his uh, uh, complement to zero dimensional stratum is C star, so CP1 minus C star, we also get a, a mm, mm, lattice of rank N. Uh, namely, what, what we do, we consider uh, now neighborhood not of point, but of a, of a circle which generates a homotopy group. You can see the neighborhood of point of S1, sitting kind of generators of P1, and repeat the same procedure. So we get, lat uh, so we get rank la uh, and lattice for device non crossing associated also to special one dimensional strata. And this uh, identity. And this all, all lattices are identified with each other. We get identification along uh, the chain. Get identification. Gamma P0 is isomorphic to lattice of the first CP1. This is to gamma P1. Isomorphic to gamma of second CP1. Blah, blah, blah. And finally, we get to the last point. And the assumption that this isomorphism is the one which is given by my automorphism. It's because automorphism identifies the whole things. We are kind of holonomy along the chain.
is equal to isomorphism induced by my, my monodromy map. Now, so it means that all lattices are identified and all lattices will be identified with gamma star where gamma is second homology of X L Z. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so here we get some kind of uh, already mirror symmetry situation because this H2 is very close to H1 of L. So you see that first homology of one uh, variety is dual to first homology of something else. X, L, yeah, when, uh, yeah and all, uh, it's on all this picture where X is a cotangent bundle to Y and L is sitting in Y. Yeah. Mm. yeah so, uh, so what goes on? We get a new variety, this M tilde, it's analytic. Uh, variety with normal crossing divisor and chain of CP1s, now, now closed chain of CP1s, uh, and set it at first order. Uh, it, uh, at this chain, it coincides with a toric variety. Variety, the torus is gamma dual tensor ring C star. Uh, so we get this situation and central charge, uh, which was mapped from gamma to C. Uh, I again assume that gives epimorphism of gamma tensor R2, R2 equal to C. So it's kind of full rank. Uh, this by duality gives an embedding from R2 embedding to gamma star tensor R. Now, so get. Uh, This picture and the claim that this analytic data under certain some convexity constraints uh, uh, gives you a bunch of uh, automorphism of T theta over tori. Uh, this analytic space plus central charge gives a collection of. Uh, Nonlinear maps of Tori. Mm. Mm. In fact, the whole story can be s s sort of it's, it's the end of the day is tautology when the Foucault categories, blah, 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 but. Uh, uh, why eventually we go to this situation? Mm. And uh, why we get this TC? This, uh, how, how do you get the theta? Oh, oh, ah, it will be mapped from uh, arguments, will be. Uh, let's explain just. Uh, it's in, uh, in two words, yeah, suppose we have this analytic station, we get some analytic variety, this store section, then we have kind of new uh, uh, equation, uh, which is, will be eventually equivalent to nonlinear Riemann-Hilbert problem. 
which will be the following. Mm. To describe maps from punctured disk to M tilde. Uh, satisfying certain asymptotics. Uh, namely, the picture is the following. We get, so we get this chain of CP1s. In a uh, sense of toric geometry, We do the following for each uh, um, zero dimensional stratum, I, I associate a, a kind of point PI, uh, gives a convex, uh, give me something, simplicial cone and gamma integer simplicial cone. And get something like this. And for each edge, I, I have a common face between two cones. So what, what I get, it's a bit hard to draw. Like, again, imagine in three dimensions, you get some um, exactly ordered system of convex co uh, simplicial cones which attach one to each other and uh, form a certain figure which is what's a bit similar when I wrote in support property. Uh, so you get some non-convex cone, union of convex, from 1 to m, and uh, this still contains R2, the uh, image of this dual, I think, by central charge. So the thing will contain some plane, mm. and uh, now uh, what goes on? Uh, this plane uh, will be the same as uh, a, a, a C plane for variable H bar, and we divide H bar on different sectors, finitely many sectors. And if H bar stays in one sector, it means that uh, here we appro approach one of point of this CP1. So the, if H bar stays in the sector, then my map uh, will be uh, very close to mm. one point. And in sector, in each sector, the map will be the following. H bar, which uh, first we choose kind of local coordinates identify with historic variety, mm. goes to Uh, each bar goes to point in a in local coordinates in the torus, and point in the torus is the following. Beta goes to exponent z beta over h bar, multiplied by uh, some analytic function, analytic map uh, in the sense of tori, uh, which is Extending to, extending to C infinity on the boundary, on the boundary of my sector. Yeah, uh, that's another question uh, to study uh, this maps, and, and really for asymptotic, we need only know to the central charge. Uh, so, how it's related to Riemann Hilbert problem? Uh, the story is uh, the following. First of all, mm, if you consider uh, mm, 
this analytic space, which is neighborhood of uh, chain of CP1, then we can um, consider its formal completion at the chain, you get some formal scheme, and the classification group of this formal schemes, the classification uh, problem of the formal, this formal schemes, it turns out to be very easy. It's given by uh, exactly data of this automorphism T theta, the same number of parameters, satisfying support property, but no convergence condition whatsoever. What are you about now? No, no, the, if consider form, uh, instead of M tilde, consider formal schemes, which, uh, uh, which is union. Then it's really one to one corresponding to all this family of automorphisms, but um, without any convergence conditions. And if there is convergence condition, then you get uh, this uh, actual variety. And if you consider sex solution of Riemann Hilbert problem, which I explained to you in terms of cutting by infinitely many race, it's exactly equivalent to uh, this analytic equation. Yeah, so it's uh, just different languages for the same story. Mm. There is uh, a very delicate question uh, whether this convergence and existence of holomorphic germ is the same story. It's in one direction the uh, implication is obvious, in another we don't know in fact. Yeah, it's maybe true, maybe not, mm. but um, that seems to be uh, if you get uh, this kind of full cross structure, this bunch of operations with exponential bounds, then you can glue analytic space. But uh, there's an uh, opposite question. If you have analytic space, when you get it formally, it will be this uh, convergent series. Uh, that's, this seems to be a pretty tough question, and which we don't know, but, uh, but this property, even without convergence, seems to be as good as well. So we have a replacement of Riemann Hilbert problem, even if it's answer will be negative for this question. Yeah, and mm, yeah, so it's uh, something mm, which we, one can kind of uh, do explicitly in, in principle again on computer and why it corresponds to a real life situation. It's kind of obvious when consider equation depending on small parameter, then we get and consider a very small circle in, in a, uh, when h bar equal to some constant in uh, uh, this parameter space, it's mapped to some uh, curve in uh, um, beta, and this curve will, will, will be the following. So this, if you get the circle, each interval will grow very close to each point, and logarithmic coordinates will be given by, uh, will be straight line, and here this short line will go very fast on, on this. Uh, uh, so how to see it? So what is small became very big, and what is big became very small. Yeah, so that's uh, this type of uh, behavior. And, uh, and if one try, try to think on this question, uh, the space of the sections will be like sections of some new analytic vibration of H bar. So it, it implicitly describes you a fiber at zero. This, this area. Okay, so maybe I finish for today. <laughs>